everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. We are out here working in the van. We have bought a vent to go. And Luki. And Luki's working on the van too. <laughs> we have bought a vent to go in the top of our van. As you saw, if you watched one of our last van videos, we got an air conditioner that was portable for our van. We've decided that if we put a vent in the top to allow the hot air as it rises to go out, it will help us cool our van much quicker. Let's get this started. Let's see what we've got here. So I don't want to hurt it. You can so set it under the bed. Is the vent. That's gonna go on the top. Ooh. This is gonna go up into the ceiling. So we're going to have to use this to measure the size of the hole that we need to cut in the top of our van. It should come off. So that it will yeah. fit perfectly up in the ceiling, just for the aesthetic. Hold it up there, let's see what it looks like. So it's gonna go up in here. Okay, so we've measured the center of the van and we have laid out our screen so that we can measure the 14 by 14 of where we need to cut the hole for the screen in the roof. It's pretty cool. Yeah. What's going on over there, neighbors? Luke. Having a little meltdown. <laughs> Pretty windy up here. Okay. All right, let's draw out the other three sides. Okay. Measure six times, cut once. Yes. All right. All right, we're gonna have to get a drill bit to cut through and the metal jigsaw blade to do that. 14. All right, we can go off the roof for a few minutes here. Okay. Be careful. All right. I am going to use duct tape and cardboard. I'm gonna tape these down with the line that needs to be cut down the middle. And the reason for that is on the saw that we're gonna use, there are metal pieces to help you go smoothly across the roof. We don't want the metal pieces scraping on our roof. So that's why we wanna tape down this cardboard so the metal pieces can glide along there, and cut a nice straight line. And not scratch the paint off the roof. Yes. Next, we have to drill a hole in the top of the van. But at least we have this on here to protect the roof so it doesn't get scratched. And then we'll move it each section as we go along. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah. First thing we gotta do is cut a hole big enough to get the saw blade in a couple times. Let's see here. We might have that cardboard too close. But let's see. Hey now. Oh yeah, baby. Cutting a hole in the roof of the van. Get it? Almost, but this piece moved. One little piece left. All right, have no fear. At least they'll cut a hole right in your 30 something thousand dollar van. <laughs> Did you get it? Yep. Look at her. So we had to change locations because where we were cutting, there was the metal beam. Look at that, we're into our ceiling. Look That's at awesome. That. Yeah, look at that. We've got a hole in our back. <laughs> look at that. You did it. Yes. 
I you, didn't you did so good. There's Thank something you. like scary about cutting a hole in your 34, 35. I don't know. Something thousand dollar van. Yeah, kinda. We were gonna put it down there if you see where the black lines are, but there's a beam in there that we were hitting and we need to keep this beam in place for the structural integrity of our van. Yeah, structural integrity. So when it rolls, it doesn't collapse on your skull when you're sleeping in the bed. <laughs> All right, we want to get some of the metal flakes from just falling inside the van when we cut this, so so we're not chewing on metal flakes. Okay, we've placed a tarp over the bed just to try to stop some of the wood shavings. What are they called? Sawdust. Sawdust, yeah. From making too big of a mess. It's going to make a mess anyways. <laughs> it's awesome up here, honey. So we're going to try to place this corner thing down here and try to put a good mark so I can drill through the ceiling so we can start cutting out the ceiling here. I know that one's got to be in there a little bit more. It's going to be close. It's going to be close enough. Yep. Lisa's laying out the cut on the inside. And I just reposition it. The doctor is ready for the operation. Maybe she wants to try this, she says, and she doesn't want to eat dirt. Let's see if she can stay on this line. Get your finger away from that blade. You can't have no fingers up there near that blade. You just have to hold the back. We have a hole in the roof. And dust everywhere. All right, now that we have a hole completely through the van, <laughs> can you imagine that, that we destroyed a van? That's amazing. We're going to try to fix it. Okay, our next thing is we need to lay this out, write you a pin, and, and mark where the holes just are going to corner be so we can lay that tape. Okay. So let's get to that. Okay, okay it does take longer for us to film everything, so we're going to do a little bit of this work. We do something and stop to film it. But go ahead and mark that corner hole. Okay. Just put a dot in there. You gotta go a lot quicker. Yeah, and do like one in the middle. One of the middle ones. All right, we're starting the putty tape. I know we have to do multiple layers in that channels. Hopefully the kit came with enough tape to do it or we'll have to go to Lowe's and buy that tube of gunk stuff, whatever it's called. Yeah. Alright, we think we're level. Four additional layers in each trench. 
we don't know if we have enough tape of this putty. We're gonna have to maybe go buy some more. We're working in the shade, luckily, today. Yes. Makes for bad video, but, <laughs> but... <laughs> good for the summer heat. Yes. <laughs> All right, time out while we go buy more putty tape. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I think just build it up. We ran out of putty tape, so we had to go get a shower tape to modify our design here since no RV part store was open today. So we're back at it. We're almost ready to drill all the holes and mount this thing. Yep. All right, so we gotta put the screen back in the vent before we start drilling holes. can put a roof rack on here. Okay. Good? Yep, let me just make sure this is Alright, let's good. turn this off and set it in place. Oh. Alright, as you can see, it starts to squish the putty out perfectly. The whole, that screw isn't too big, that drill isn't too big for that, is it? It's not stripping no. through. No. Oh no. Alright, four down, 24 to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do some when you get tired. Coming around, huh? Oh, you're almost halfway through that side. Is it working through that other stuff? Yeah, perfect. And it's squirting it out still? <laughs> yep. It's gonna be great. It is perfect. <laughs> plastic. Huh? Hitting the plastic doing anything it's just the way it's I think it's it could be I don't know but it's not te it's not making any marks on it so I already did that one <laughs> <laughs> all right we need a new drill bit oh that's the problem this drill bit is done there you go, you didn't slam through. Three more. Three more, we're almost done. Oh, we're pushing too hard. It's okay. We're good. Twenty-eight holes. Done. Ta da! Da 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 da! We did it, honey. Yeah. Now just the inside to work on and we're done. Did you get my blister that I always get? Yeah. Almost, she did. I have a callus built up right there now. Maybe I'll get one too. Proof of How many times I blistered like a few times back before it would stop blistering and I could crank on a screwdriver. Yeah. I guess that's why people use power tools. <laughs> yep. Alrighty, we can clean up this roof. What a good job. It's really good. It is really good. It's professional. It's as good as a pro would do. Yep. <laughs> that's someone that does this every day. We should do this for a living. <laughs> You could make money doing this. <laughs> We're not afraid of a little bit of heat. It's only 104. But our vent works. It's so great, honey. And we just have to cut one inch off of this thing so it fits up there right. You want me to hold it? You want to film it? Yeah. You gotta get in out of the heat for a little bit. Yeah. We'll wait for the sun to go down a little bit. And there you go. 
Yeah, that's really nice. We just got to cut that one inch off of it so it fits up there. Yeah, that's you get nice. In here, yeah. yeah. See how it fits up in there? That's nice. That's beautiful. Beautiful. We got the plastic piece up and the screws in. It's all finished. The plastic piece that fits up there is made so that you can cut off whatever portion is too big for your space depending on the height of your ceiling. So this is how much, about an inch, that Bill had to cut off of our piece. But look, it fits up here perfect. And now we can open it up and we have a screen and we can let the hot air out the top when we have our air conditioner working. Yeah, and fresh air when we're breathing here. I don't know if I like the trim boards overhanging it or not. Yeah. But so we can not, decide we can, that. We can always trim those off later. But it's done. It's done. It's up. It's awesome. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys learned something from our video and enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, that's a project. Yes. It got dark on us. Yep. So you ready? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> we had to bring out a light. Bill and I think that couples should be required to build a metal shed together and install a roof in the metal ceiling in your van because these are two things that take patience, love, and care and if you still love each other at the end of those two projects, then you should definitely get married.